We're going to be talking about the Mowbray um, MCU 900 liquid level control system. The level transmitter itself is the MSP 900 SH. This is one we'll be looking at today. Ultrasonic liquid level transmitter which is often used with a control unit as programmed um, under display is shown on the control unit, an MCU 900. There are two types of MCU 900. There's the panel mounted version and the wall mounted version here. Um, programming is the same for either type. For ease of operation today and for display purposes I will be uh, using the panel mounted version. But I know that many of you will have the wall mounted version um, that's used out in Mowbray the field. Mowbray MCU 900 control unit. The most important parameter is the bottom reference. Now the factory default is 12. If this is the first time of commissioning it, uh, commissioning it or programming it then when you turn on the mains power supply the display will show bottom reference for the first time and then you can put it in. If it isn't the first time um, for example if you're going to site and the customer wants to change a bottom reference the way you can get into it is by going to the parameter, the bottom reference parameter which is P010 in the direct menu and changing it there so how to do that here for example we want say for example we want to change this bottom reference to five meters let's go in so the yellow to get into the main menu we want to go offline okay press it again follow the on-screen instructions offline then now here we've got set up monitor and just below there is direct you can't see it on the screen but it is there so go set up monitor direct to get into direct press the yellow and here's the parameter so let's have a look at parameter 010 this is the bottom reference parameter bottom reference at the moment is 3.035 let's change that to 5 meters so yellow and with arrow to edit it 0 use the up and the down arrows to move along okay we've done that save it's sending it okay it's done that so let's escape let's quit quit again now we want to go online so use the yellow select online go online yes press again screen instruction instructions press it again online that's it we're back online we've changed the bottom okay. reference so we've entered the bottom reference we now want to program some relays so let's get into the menu first of all we go offline and into the setup this is a setup for the control unit duty this is where we've got a, a duty wizard and it gives us various options so let's start the wizard first one it comes up with is a, a wet well um, for example on a sewage farm we've also got level contents flow and then back again we just want we've got a simple application we just want to look at level in a storage tank and set three relays for that level so select level level to give four million amps out we'll ignore this for the moment Right, the function, single relay. 
this is what we want. We want to set uh, some relay values. Sing single relay. Okay. Um, select relay one. Okay. The mode for relay one. Well, we want it to be a set point. Um, basically, as soon as we get to that value, we want the relay to come on. Other options are where well, we could have it as a rate of change relay, out of limits relay, but we just want it as a simple set point. It gets to that value, relay comes on. And what's it going to relate to? Well, it's going to relate to the primary variable, just the level going up in the tank, up and down in the tank. That's the primary variable. So we want it to relate to that. Right, now we've got an on point for relay 1 of 1.80 meters. If we wanted to change that, we just use the up and down arrows and side to side, and we can change this value. That's just a and an off point for relay 1, we've got that as well. Um, if we, again, if we wanted to change it, use, just use the, these arrows here. We'll keep that as it is. Scum line, oh, we'll forget that for the moment. Program more relays. Yes, we want to program single relay. Relay 2. And then again, we can go through the same process to program relay 2. Just do exactly the same thing. A relay 2. Program any more relays? No, that's enough. We'll come out. Escape again. Escape. Escape. Go online. Yes, we've programmed everything up so we can go back online. Select go online. And that's it. How to read the parameter values. You may arrive at site and the customer has forgotten, for example, what the relay values are, how he set it, or even what the bottom reference is. How can you find these values by, by interrogating the control unit? Go into the menu, main menu, go offline, okay. then go down to direct. Here in direct we've got the parameters P and then three X's and diagnostics D and three X's. So the parameter values P010 is the bottom reference. So let's go into parameter. Oh, it comes up already with P010. This will tell you what the bottom reference is. In this case it's 3.035 and you can edit it in this menu as well if you wanted to. Let's come out. Let's have a look at relays. Now relay relay 1. Uh, let's find out what the mode of it is. The parameter is 410. 410. Yep, that's what I've got. Let's have a look. It's a set point. Okay, what's the value of that set point? So I want the relay one on point. That's parameter 411. And the value is 1.8. The value off is 412. 0.5. So it's possible by going into the direct mode to inter and then putting in the parameter value to interrogate the control unit and find out what parameter settings are. Don't forget that the direct menu is at the bottom of the main menu and it's easy to uh, not see it first of all because when you go into the main menu you see set up and monitor don't forget to keep going until you get to direct. That's it.